What's good, people? Urban Gun Reviews, and today on the channel, I'll be doing an unboxing and my first impressions of the Springfield Armory Hellcat. Let's check it out. So let's unbox this thing, check it out, and I'll give y'all my initial uh, thoughts about it. Y'all didn't think I was going to get that? I told y'all I was getting this. I told y'all. So check out the box real quick. You see Springfield Armory. Uh, you see Springfield Armory on there. Not really too much to see after that. All right. So in the box, uh, you got... Your, uh, a nice old gun bag, little gun case. Uh, I got my paperwork that came with it. You get a nice little shot thing. A little target. All right, they busted like four caps in there. You know what I mean? So we got that. So we got the Hellcat booklet. You know what I mean? So you get uh, all your little information and paperwork in there. Uh, and then you flip this side open and you get a uh, trigger lock. I believe that's what that is. Yeah, trigger lock. And you get your flat base plate. And then you get your um, 11 round mag. All right, so put that to the side. All right, so we got 11. Uh, round mag, your flat base plate, and then we got the main event right here. This is a pretty decent little case too. A nice little bag, you know what I mean? Like when I buy a gun and I get a little extra things, you know what I mean? Not that I ever use it, but it, it's just nice to have. All right, so let's try to get it out of there. Oh. All right, and then we have the Springfield Armory uh, Hellcat. All right, so um, like I said, I told you I was going to get this, and I uh, made the decision today. You know what I mean? I was like, let me let me just go grab this up, and uh, let me see. You know, check it out. And while I was out. I was at uh, my local gun store, Justin's Gun Shop. If you are in the local area, you know, Washington area, definitely go get one or go check them out. And I grabbed the 13 round magazine. So let's open that up while we got a chance. All right, so we got two 13 round mags and an 11 round mag. All right, um, the extra mag, um, I, like I said, I got it at my local gun shop and it ran me 35 bucks, uh, maybe 40 after tax. Okay. So checking it out, you know what I mean? You got the nice, uh, grip texture on here that I don't believe is too aggressive. It, it, it you know, it's, it's a nice, uh, texture on it. Like I said, not too aggressive. Uh, you got your mag release right here which is reversible so if you know you prefer it on the right hand side of your pistol then you can do that you have your uh lock back uh and uh slide release you have your uh takedown lever you see there's more texture up here so that is uh for your thumb you know what i mean so if your thumb you know you get a little bit of texture on that thumb uh part right there and on the opposite side, you have that texture that's on both sides. So if you shoot left-handed or right-handed, you got that texture, you know what I mean? On both sides. So um, I like that. Like I said, the, the texture on here, it's it's nice, you know what I mean? You get a little, it's kind of sandpaper-ish, but not overly aggressive. Like I don't think that it, it would irritate me or the skin or anything like that. And this 
texture wraps around the whole uh, grip. It's on both sides and the thumb uh, part and in the, uh, the finger part. So definitely, um, you know, good feature right there. I like it. Um, we got a, a trigger safety right here. So you got your, you know, that little thing on your trigger that has to be pressed in order for the uh, firearm to actually fire. Um, we have a uh, serrations that wrap around the entire slide. So it's on the left and the right side, the top, and uh, it's on the front and the back. So if you want to do press checks, you know what I mean? You're good that way. If you want to, you know, get some grip to rack it from the back, you're good that way. So that's nice. You have uh, Springfield Armory logo up there. You got the Hellcat logo on the front and uh, on the side of the slide, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, Springfield Armory. Um, you have the uh, U sight on the back with a uh, glow. Uh, I want to say tritium. I might be wrong. Um, in the front, you know what I mean? So. Get a nice little, a little sight on that. Real nice. Um, what else we got? What else? Um, you got a three inch barrel in here. Uh, dual uh, guy rod, dual spring guy rod in here. And you notice the guy rod is textured as well. So it has the same texture that's on the side. And you see that same texture on your guide rail. So that's there. And uh, you see the guy rail has a little bit of, uh, it's a little longer, you know what I mean? It sticks out and that's to keep your uh, firearm and battery in case you're in close quarters, um, you know, situation. And we have a loaded chamber indicator right here. So, you know what I mean? If you, if you had a mag in there, and you had a round in there, you'd be able to see it if it was live and ready to go. All right, so uh, that's just the quick look of it. I'm um, show you what it looked like in my hand. Now, uh, originally, I thought it was gonna come with this base plate installed, the uh, flush base plate, and I was gonna have to put the uh, pinky extension uh, base plate on, but it didn't, so I was glad because now I don't have to, to go through that and and to uh, actually have to put this on. So it's already on. So let's check it out and see how much real estate that you actually get with this. Now, you see with the pinky extension on here, you know, my pinky's on there. You know what I mean? Now this, this trigger cut, uh, trigger guard cut right here is a nice cut. You know what I mean? My finger fits in there now. My whole pinky, my whole finger isn't on there. You know what I mean? So you get a little bit of uh you know what i mean meat left over right there but it's enough to get you know what i mean a decent grip and without that and imagine it being flat it wouldn't be as comfortable for me because you know what i mean i got you know a little bit meatier fingers and hands so it wouldn't have been that comfortable now you know getting your full grip on there like i said uh i'm pretty good now if i realized that my shot wasn't as good as I would like it to be, you know, holding it like this because there's not a lot of real estate, then maybe I would try to adjust it to a grip like that. You know what I mean? To give me uh, just a better hold on it. But I would have to try it out when I get to the range and see if, you know, that would be an uh, issue. I forgot to mention the built-in beaver tail. You know what I mean? You do have a built-in beaver tail on uh, the back of the firearm. Now let's check out the uh, 13 round magazine. Now, much more, uh, way better feel, much better right here. Uh, you know, when you get in and you, that's, that's a good feel, you know what I mean? You see, still a little bit of meat hanging off, but if you look, the majority of my pinky, you know what I mean, is secure. I'm good. And this this is a, a much more uh a much better 
feel for me. Um, I'm definitely feeling that. So you got a nice responsive uh, mag release so you know it shoots out so you won't have to you know grab it and pull it out. So nice uh, feel on that. Alright so my first initial uh, thoughts about the Hellcat is that it uh, I mean it's, it's what I thought it would be. You know what I mean? It's not any real surprises like, oh, you know, I didn't expect that. You know what I mean? It has a really nice uh, feel in the hand. Um, really uh, reminiscent of my SIG P365 in many ways. You know what I mean? The feel, the look. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's a really nice handgun. You know what I mean? I'm really, really... Uh, interested in trying it out, shooting it, and you know what I mean, and, and really seeing how good it is. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll be getting this to the range pretty soon, and uh, when I get it to the range, you know, I'm going to do my normal test. Uh, I'm not going to clean it before I go to the range. I probably won't clean it until after I put about 500 rounds through it, so, you know, I know that it, it's going to work. I mean, it's uh, my wife, she held it. You know, when I brought it home and she was like, this is like really nice. She's like, I like the feel of it. She's like, this is the type of gun that I would want, that I would want to carry. You know what I mean? So she was like, it, it, it feels nice. It's not too big. She wouldn't be uh, afraid to carry this. So she was really impressed just by the, um, the stature of it. You know what I mean? So that right there is uh, a plus, you know, so it does have that uh, feminine appeal to uh, ladies who would like a smaller gun. My wife doesn't have big hands, you know what I mean? So uh, a gun this size, you know, she held it and she was like, this feels good. So this could be uh, possibly uh, EDC for her. So I was really, uh, I was really uh, shocked that she really liked it as much. So if it does what it's supposed to do, then uh, maybe then this will be, I get my wife one and then she can have one as well. But like I said, um, I mean, it's solid, you know what I mean? So far, uh, without putting any rounds through it, it's, it's a solid handgun. Um, I can't see any flaws in uh, the design or anything right now. So, um, I mean, I can't wait to get it to the range. So hopefully in the next few days, I'll be able to get it to the range and put some shots down range and check it out. Um, you know what I mean? And see what it's really about. But it's Urban Gun Reviews. If this video helps you in any way, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that easily by clicking on the AR-15 in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video, you can do that by clicking the bell notifications. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, go into the description and all those links will be in there. And we out to the next one, people. Stay blessed. Stay strapped.